Guys, I had a rapture dream just now, like at five in the morning. Guys, I had a, I think I had a rapture dream. This is like the first time I'm sure I had a rapture dream. I'm gonna try to tell you guys this as accurately as I can. Like, it was, it was wild. It was wild, guys. I was like, I was like a student. I was a student and I wasn't in the position that I was in right now. It was like I was going backwards. It was like I was a student. I was either in high school or college and I was like maybe like 17 or something. And I was with a bunch of other students in this building that was, it was either like a bookstore or a, or a, um, I don't know, it was some somewhere that was like kind of cluttered. And we had our backpacks and we had our stuff. And this guy in there was making us do the pacer. There was like cords and wires and stuff everywhere. I'm like, and the furniture, he was making us do the pacer in the building, like toward, from in the building to the front door, like out and coming back in. And I was like, why are you making us do this? And we had to put our stuff down on a couch and do the pacer and it was like the pacer was on like I don't know where it came from but we were doing the freaking pacer and I was like quickly I became one of the only ones that was still doing it like everybody else just kind of disappeared or whatever when they couldn't do it anymore and I was still doing it and it took me back to when I was in high school and I was in middle school and I was like the one that was doing the pacer all the way up to a hundred y'all know what the pacer test is you just running back and forth from one point to the other and you try to get there before the ding it's like it's like this ding that comes and um that's the pacer test and it and it measures your your strength and basically being able to pace yourself and get from one point to the other by the way guys when i saw it i it was like they were able to zoom in to the sky or something and it was like they could see people but they were dissolving. It was like, I don't know. It was like The One. If y'all ever seen The One with Jet Li, that was my favorite movie. I, I was watching that movie since I was three, like three years old, I, I promise y'all. That was my favorite movie was The One by Jet Li as a kid. And when when he sits in the, in the chair, like in that chair that they restrain him in, when he was about to go to a different um, dimension and his body just started like, like, it was like deteriorating, but it wasn't graphic. It was like it just he just disappeared. Like he just disappeared. That was what I saw. It was like these people were in the sky and they were just kind of like just dissipating or whatever, like dust almost, and then swirling in this cloud. It was like it was so terrible. It was honestly kind of scary. It looked creepy. Like I don't know why. Like for for me in my dream, it looked it was kind of like a more horrific interpretation in my dream, I don't know. But it was like in the sky, like the sky looked glorious. It was like shining and stuff, but it was like that transition. And then when I was done, I walked out and I was on my way to class and it was like a campus. It was, I, I was walking outside and I was on my way to class and there was this weird guy that had bandages all over his face. It was like these weird bandages. Like he, he was in his car and he was trying to talk to me and I didn't want to listen to him. I was like, what? don't look ill. Like I was so creeped out and he, all I could see was his left eye. Everything else was bandaged everywhere else. I was like, what? Like his whole face, he just looked like a mummy. I was like creeped out. And then I, I started following this couple and they didn't really notice me. And, um, how you know they didn't notice me? Like, I, I was walking with them into the building that I was trying to go to towards class and it was like a glass door and they barely held the door open for me. Like it was like they didn't see me and I was struggling to get in because the door was heavy. And once I got in, I went I automatically, I was like in my class and I saw um, my friend Mary and I hadn't seen her in like three years, three or four years. And she was sitting at her desk already and I saw a screen appear and it, it, like it just turned on and there was this guy named Joey that I don't even know that well and he was in the dream so you were in my dream anyway you was you were apparently you was on the news and you were 
saying on there that you was like filming a music video or something and then you were pointing at the sky and they were saying that you saw heaven and i was like saw heaven because that's what was like, that was the caption or whatever and you were pointing at the sky like you got it on film and it was the whole sky just started like it was so bright but the whole sky like all the clouds started swirling like a wormhole so on the ground like i just kind of collapsed and i was trembling and shaking and i was like like Oh God, like I was just like trembling, like something like, like, I don't know, like I was just trembling and my face was on the ground, I was just trembling. And then when I was done trembling, I got up and then I looked at my friend, I was like, he saw heaven, like I was freaking out. And it was like, I didn't understand what was going on, but I kind of did, but I wasn't exactly sure. And then she was like, I think that was a rapture. And, and then I was like, yeah. And then she was like, I wonder what it was like. And she was like, I'm so scared. And it was like, we. It was like we were so young in the dream that we didn't really understand what was going on. And I don't know why I was in that position and it wasn't like me, how I currently live right now. Like why, why was it backwards, but something that was gonna happen in the future. And I'm gonna have to pray about that. But that was my dream. And I know the Bible says about how a lot of young people are gonna have dreams about the rapture more vividly. and things like that and I wanted to get a rapture dream and I told the Lord, like I asked him, I was like, I wanna have dreams like that because I've had like like scary dreams in the past that I know weren't from him that were spiritual attacks and I wanted to see something that was from the Lord. Like I was just praying for that. And it was really crazy, it was just weird. Like it, it's not how you would normally see a dream like that. Like it's, I don't know, it, it's really weird. But like the whole pacer thing, I don't know. I'm gonna have to take it to my people and ask them like, what was that all? About? What, what was that all about? But I feel like the pacer has something to deal with. Like, I don't know, something to deal with life. Like, it's so, it has to be some type of interpretation with life and like how we're trying to get from one point to, to the next, and we don't always understand or see what what the end is gonna be like. Because the pacer test in that dream, it was taking so long, and I was getting to each point early. It was like. I don't, like, it was like, I'm, I'm too quick for it. Like, I'm trying to pace myself. Like, I don't know. It was like, I, it, it wasn't that I couldn't catch up. It was just like, okay, um, why am I doing this? Like, I don't understand. I don't know. I feel like there's something very symbolic about that pace. We were just scared. Like, and that was it. That was the end of my dream. Like, I didn't get up and look around or anything. Like, that was it. That was the end of the dream. I think that was the craziest dream. One of the craziest dreams I've ever had. Like, and I woke up and my body was kind of numb when I woke up. So I was like, oh my goodness. Woo, okay, that's it. I'm talking about the rapture that the Bible talks about where Jesus brings the dead up from the ground. Um, he raises the dead up first, the believers in Christ who, who've already passed away. And then he brings up the people in the world who believe in him up into the up into the sky with him and how everybody will be able to see this happen and how like quick and 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 it's going to be a shock the bible says he's going to come like a thief in the night and nobody's going to know like or everybody's going to be busy doing whatever they're doing that they're nobody will be able to know the time the day or the hour that he's coming and there's like i, I don't i don't know it's just Something for y'all to pray about. Um, basically, we can't guarantee that we're gonna be caught up and it's basically a walk that we have to work out um, our, our salvation.